Welcome to another video. Uh, another week is gone by and it is winter time as of the making of this video. So I hope you guys are all having a good Christmas or a good holiday or I wish you guys the best of luck if you're still working on your finals. Um, onto the video. So we're going to be working on agility. We're going to be doing that at the Sears course. Uh, we're going to be going from 61 to 66 agility. Uh, which is going to take about 341 laps and that should take about 4 hours and 40 minutes if you're getting 42k XP per hour. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the last video but some of the benefits of getting agility up are shortcuts. Uh, when we're level, at level 66 we should be able to go through a lot of shortcuts in the game especially with a summer pie um, and it also raises your energy regeneration rate. There is a common misconception that uh, the higher your agility the slower your energy drains when you're running, but that's actually false. Uh, what agility does is makes it regenerate faster while you're not running. And it's actually a pretty big difference if for any of you guys who have played on the, an account with high agility and then you get and then you start like a brand new account there, it's a massive difference between the two. So after you finish off that uh, agility, uh, we can head over to the rogues den pub place. You get there by teleporting to Burthorpe with a games necklace, heading over to the bar just to the south, going down the trap door. Um, hopefully at this point in the game, if you have been following these videos, you know your way around the game somewhat, because uh, you should have quite a few quest points at this point and decent stats. But yeah, head down to the rogues den and there is a guy down there that you trade for pieces of graceful. Um, so head down there and I had enough pieces of graceful to buy both the top and the bottoms. If you have more, you can buy like the, I'd recommend buying the gloves next or the hood. Uh, the cape, we have spider cape. And as for boots, we'll have boots of lightness before too long. If you have enough for the full set, then just buy everything. But after that, head over to the GE and we're gonna get 40 smithing up next. So you're gonna wanna buy 558 coal and 558 iron ore. And we're gonna be using those over at the Blast Furnace to make steel bars. You can get to the Blast Furnace really easily by going to your minigame teleports uh, in your quest tab. And there should be a Blast Furnace teleport that you can use to get there really quick. It's over in Keldegrim. And I recommend going to the designated world, which is world 86 at the time of making this video. Once you're there, you're gonna to have to pay the foreman and then also put some money into the coffers, the sack that should be next to the foreman and next to the bank in between those two. And that will allow you full access to the blast furnace and it will be running itself going really quick. And then basically what you do is you put coal in, then put iron in and use a bucket of water on the little thing. You can watch what I'm doing in this clip to see exactly what, I'm, what I mean. But you use a bucket of, water, bucket of water on that and you take your bars, you head to the bank, you bank your bars and basically repeat. So from level 37 to 40 smithing, it should be 558 steel bars, which should take about 13 minutes if you're getting 45k XP per hour. Uh, I was getting lower XP per hour than I expected, which means iron plate bodies might be more efficient, but not by a whole lot. Like you might save a minute or two, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, yeah, my XP per hour was lower than expected. And I've never done steel bars here. I've only done gold, so maybe that's why maybe I wasn't doing it correctly. But yeah, it should be really quick to get your 40 smithing done. So once you finish that 40 smithing, we're gonna move on over to fishing. We're gonna be training our fishing with three tick fly fishing. There is a method that's a little bit uh, more efficient where you cook your fish as you catch them. But cooking is gonna be such a fast skill on this account that it's gonna save you a little bit of time. And by the time you actually learn the method, you probably will have wasted more time than it's, than you would save with the method. So that's one reason why I'm not doing that method. Another reason why is because there isn't really a good guide um, that I found on YouTube and I myself don't know the method extremely well. But once again, it would only save you a little bit of time since we're gonna be doing one tick crown wands and wines, which are really quick. Cooking should take us very little time. So I'll be doing the fishing over at Barbarian Village. It doesn't really matter too much where you do it. You just need to fly a fishing spot. To get over to this spot, pretty quickly you just use a grand exchange teleport and then run west, southwest I mean, or you can teleport to Edgeville and just run south. So I was able to finish this week at 57 fishing, barely did not make it to 58 fishing, which is what we're going for. Um, so for this week, uh, 32 to 57 fishing, uh, that should take about 3 hours and 45 minutes, assuming that you're averaging 50k XP per hour over that time. 
And we've done lots of three tick methods in the game. This is pretty much the same. It's pretty easy. You use your Guam on your tar, click on the fishing spot, and just repeat that over and over. Make sure to stay in a three tick um, timing. And at lower levels, you won't get a fish very often. So sometimes it may seem like you got out of the cycle and you're messing up. That's probably not the case. It's just that we're low fishing level, so we're missing a lot of fish. So that is basically it for this week in this video. Once again, buy your battle staffs every day. Uh, check your mahogany trees every five days. That's all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and see you next week.